Hey folks, Nathan here. Today I'm covering my experience setting up the Hydropod launch system, ready for the first official Hydron rocket launch. This is a slightly more difficult process than I originally thought, so I'll go into the difficulties that I faced a bit later in the video. To start though, let's do a quick tutorial on how to set up the Hydropod launcher. So to start with, we have our launcher base here. This part here is where the pump attaches, and this here is a release valve, so if the pressure in the system goes above 50 psi, then you'll get air leaking out of here to make sure things don't explode. Next up, we have the latch, which is what will hold your bottle in place before launch. And you can see that there's a little hexagon shaped area here. And we're going to be putting our little tiny hexagon nut into there. And then we're going to be screwing this part here in. There we go. So now if we pull on this, the latch will pull down. Alrighty, next up we get our safety cord, which we have here. So it's got this little clip on the side and that'll just clip onto here. Like so. Let me thread that through the bottom. So now when we pull, that'll launch the rocket. Alright, next up is our pump. So this small pump here comes with the system. Um, this end is what you want to attach. So let's grab our port here. We just push that down and then pull that down to lock it. Excellent. And all we need to do now is get a bottle we have here, a nice two liter one, and we're going to put that on, push it down, and there we go. There's our complete launch system ready to go. There's two major pillars of this series. The first is to show data-driven design, so that as we fly rockets and collect data, we use that to inform future designs and use an iterative approach to get better and better rockets. The second, and arguably the most important, is to actually show failure when it happens. Otherwise, I might give the wrong impression that all of this rocket stuff is easy. And already we're off to an excellent start on the failure front. So this thing didn't actually come with any instructions on how to set it up or anything. So I just assumed that it was meant to go like this because that hex nut fits perfectly into that hole there. But what I didn't realize is that this thing is meant to hold that lip of the bottle and stop it coming up. So that explains why me doing this was having no effect. Which means that we actually have to set it up like this and pull it through that way. Which also explains a lot because when I was pulling it from here, this would tip over. And I was like, that's, that's not structurally stable at all. But if we're pulling it from under here, then that'll work. So the second problem that I faced with this was that the O ring wasn't lubricated after a few dry firings. So originally I thought that it was just the O ring itself that was wrong, so I swapped them over but the issue was still happening. So I'd try and put the bottle on, it'd be too tight, and then I'd pressurize it up to 50 PSI, I'd hear air coming out of the release valve, but the bottle wasn't lifting off at all. Um, I verified that there was pressure in there, so I could depressurize it and hear all the air coming out. But yeah, for some reason the rocket just wasn't lifting off. And it turned out that it was a lubrication problem. So I got some canola oil and rubbed it around the O-ring, and then chucked it on, and yeah, with the bottle able to actually slide over the o-ring properly it actually launched and that led to this our latch is secured let's give it a crack Oops. see already it's ready to go just 
going to do 13 and then test in three, two, one. Oh, beautiful. It worked. And the ceiling is not damaged. And that's all for today's video. In our next episode, we'll be finding a suitable launch site, going over launch safety protocol, and then actually launching the first Hydron rocket with water in it. I'm very excited that it's going to be my first actual rocket launch, so very keen to see how that goes. All right, catch you later.